What's a heart? I'm not talking about the heart. Hello friends, welcome back to All in Law. This YouTube channel dedicated for medical students and for those students who want to appear for USMLE examinations from step 1 to step 3. So today's topic of discussion is a laboratory analysis for HIV. Lab analysis. For HIV infection. Okay, this is our kind of a revision for your USM step one examination. So I'm gonna give you here, here what's the purpose of the what do you what do you want to do and what test do you do? Okay, to know for example what do you call for initial screening if you want to screen in a patient okay in if you want to screen the patient whether he's HIV positive or not, what type of test do you do? Is ELISA or L A G L P A that's a latex particle agglutination test. Okay guys, so for initial screening you have to do ELISA or LPA, that's a latex particle agglutination test. Okay, so if you want to confirm, or for example, if it's confirmed, if the screening test is positive, then you need to confirm whether he has a HIV infection or not. So what test do you do to confirm the HIV infection? So it's a Western blot technique, that's a test, okay, or immunofluorescence, okay, right, immunofluorescence. This is are the two important tests you should remember you have to do to confirm the HIV infection in the patient. Okay, let's see if you want to the early marker for infection. You want to say early marker for infection, early marker for infection. Okay, for infection. So let's talk about this and early marker for infection. Which test do you want to do or what do you want to see uh, in this patient is P4. P24 antigen very important antigen P24 antigen okay okay guys P24 antigen remember this is really very important for USML step on examination okay if you want a detection of a virus in the blood like to evaluate the viral load or detect the HIV infection in the newborns or pregnant mothers okay HIV infected what test do you want to do detection of virus in the blood detection of virus in the blood viral load or virus sorry virus in blood what test do you want to do is reverse transcriptase PCR remember okay the PCR detects integrated virus provirus that we call it as okay so this is really very important and if you want to evaluate the progress of the disease which is that test what do you want to see in this patient is CD4 CD8 ratio okay CD4, CD4 is to CD8 T cell ratio. Okay, guys. Right, this is really very important. So try to look for if you want to initial screen the patients, then do ELISA or LPA. That's a latex particle agglutination test. If you want to confirm in that patient, then you have to do Western blot or immunofluorescence. And if you want to see early marker for infection, check for a P24 antigen. If you want to see for detection of virus in the blood like in a newborn patient newborn or HIV infected mother uh -huh, right so what do you want to do is a reverse transcriptive PCR test and for evaluate the progress of the disease then you have to measure the ratio that is CD4 8 to CD8 CD4 cell is to CD4 8 T cells ratio okay so as we know the CD4 count really very important because depending on that level we we, we, we we get the opportunistic infections so that's why it's a really important you know in another video I explained about uh, what you call labels of uh, CD4 cells with opportunistic infections so try to watch that video and thank you so much for watching this video take care